Assalamu alaikum, Brother Yusuf. Thank you for coming in today and uh, sharing your story in uh, accepting Islam and converting to Islam. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so Alhamdulillah, we just heard from uh, Brother Reed uh, Janey. And now, Jay. oh Jay, <laughs> Brother Reed Jay. And now we're hearing from uh, our community member, Brother Yusuf. So, Yusuf, how long have you been Muslim? Uh, Alhamdulillah, I've been Muslim since October 19, 2010. MashaAllah. Okay. Almost two years, uh, over two years. Oh, um, great. Okay. So, um, and, you know, before I guess we ask about, you know, your journey to Islam, uh, were you born and raised in the U.S.? Uh, no, I was not. Oh, you were? Okay. So, where, where were you born? I was born and raised in Santiago, Chile. Ah, Chile. Okay. So, how long were you there before you came to the U.S.? Alhamdulillah, I came here when uh, I was in 97. Mm -hmm. I was seven years old. Uh, I just finished uh, my kindergarten class, moving into first grade, and then mm -hmm. we moved throughout the U.S., starting mm -hmm. in Minnes um, in Miami, uh, Florida. Oh, okay, beautiful. Okay, thank you. Alhamdulillah, that's great. Um, and so, I guess basically, uh, can you share with us your first uh, knowledge of Islam, or when you first heard about it and first got interested? Sure. Um, so. Um, I I wasn't exposed as much to Islam when I was a, a, a young because mm -hmm. my father, being a pastor, mm -hmm. uh, it was very uh, different. My outlook and in, in like in, in my faith and my whole way of life yeah. was basically the Christian aspect. So mm -hmm. everything from the teachings to the to like to the literature, um, everything was something I absorbed mm -hmm. and something I maintained. Being like the the senior, like the oldest son, mm -hmm. uh, I, that was my task, my priority mm. uh, to uphold in my family. Alhamdulillah. Well, okay, can you explain to so what you mean? Uh, uphold, what was it they wanted you to uphold? They wanted me to uphold because um, uh, in my in my in my tradition culture? or my culture, yeah. the oldest, especially being a male, um, you have to carry like the family. Uh, like a responsibility, their, not just responsibility, but the family like like outlook. So people will look into the family and they'll look onto you, and they'll be like, "This is the man. This is the representation. Mm -hmm. This is who's going to be leading this family in the future." And so on. Okay. All right. So, uh, okay. So then, what happened? So then we that? moved in '97 to Minnesota. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, sorry, uh, Florida. Then Minnesota. Then Kansas. And then finally California. Oh, mashallah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Nomad. Uh, in California, uh, we lived with my grandmother. My grandmother is also a very religious person. Uh, a block from the street, uh, we had a, a, a church. Okay. Which, uh, if I may ask, uh, what denomination from Christianity? We were, uh, well, my father was an evangelist pastor. Okay. And, but my family on my grandmother's side, um, on my mother's side, mm -hmm. was Presbyterian. Uh, okay. So how... How, what was the challenge there? Any challenges between... Uh... <laughs> there was uh, many challenges because mm. uh, in 2009, I was made aware into Islam. Uh, actually, when I first got into college, I became kind of a, um, I can say, I guess, um, interested in different religions and perspectives because when I came into, into college, I became kind of, uh, I kind of despised faith. It, because it, there was a moment in my time in my life mm -hmm. that I was led astray. I was I went from a strong Christian to being um, scared and also led astray and believing that such things are not relevant or not proven or otherwise. Mm -hmm. So in college I studied a lot of faith and also studied a lot of like science and I would mm -hmm. always um, rebuttal or argue with certain religious groups to the point where they would leave campus. Mm -hmm. Um, when you say leave camp, what, what, do you, what do you mean? For example, there was uh, one, um, I can remember a time where there were Scientologists. Mm -hmm. And they always, um, they have something called stress meter. So what they do is they have, they, uh, they ask you a myriad of questions. Mm -hmm. And those questions relate to your, your past or anything that has to do with like personal problems or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And then you're, it seems like you're stressed. Now mm -hmm. obviously when they ask you such questions, there's going to be a, like a, some tension like mm -hmm. growing. And then they tell you afterwards, uh, you ask for answers, and they tell you, you have to read this book. Mm. And for me, I was like, is it, if this is faith, if it's something you have to buy your way into, mm. then what's the point? Like, anybody can buy their way into it. Last second, faith isn't something we, it's relevant. Mm. Um, until one day, a sister asked me what I thought about Islam. Mm. 
She was the sister of what hijab, and uh, I, I went to, at that time I knew nothing about Islam. Mm. Uh, and then she told me, she's like, "What do you think about Islam?" And I responded with a with a with a kind of like a like you know a non-objected uh, reply, like, oh, "Well, this is I know nothing." And then she uh, she replied, "Well, um, can you make any assumption? Can you make anything like that would um, that you would think or you would want to think?" And I was like. If it's something that I am irrelevant of or I am unaware of, I cannot imply like my answer. I can't really state uh, something that I am not aware of. But I can assure you, I'll study it. Hmm. So, actually, this was the first masjid I went to get a book. Uh, Sheikh, yeah, oh, Sheikh Anwar. Yeah, sure. I came after Sheikh Anwar. Yeah. Uh, I asked him. I came to him. I was like, I would like to get some books on Islam. Hmm. And he asked me, he's like, Why are you interested? And I was like, well, I was like, I don't know anything about Islam. Some of my friends are Muslim, and I would like to learn more. Mm. He's like, okay, here, have it. And so I did. I took some, and I went to Fremont, uh, Talif. I, it's not a masjid, but it's a community area for Muslims. Mm -hmm. And I also took some books from them, mm. and I read. It. Now, in a scientific method, or like, or in a scientific uh, like uh, like arena, like mm. you you are faced with questions, and when mm. when you have an answer to this question, it's like a light bulb. Mm. But as these answers like transgressed into my into my uh, into my feelings into my way of thought, mm. it wasn't like an aha moment. It was more like a, something that kind of uh, laid itself like above, like a blanket mm. above, like a question, and became answer. Right. So that was how Islam came into me. I just st slowly started to mm. feel my faith kind of um, uh, like I guess recollect itself. Mm. Okay, so when you, wait, when you said when you said blanket, that's that's an interesting perspective. So can you, I guess, can you kind of more, maybe descri describe what, what that meant? Well, it's not something that like, I. Are you, do you feel like some, like some spirit? Was it like a spiritual awakening or a spiritual envelopment? Something? I think it was a spiritual uh, resurrection. It ah. was because I. It was a point where I was very faithful mm -hmm. to a point where like I just doubted my faith. To a point where, like, there's this is what I need. Mm -hmm. This is my answer. This is my resolution. Ah, that is, you felt Islam had that. Yes. Okay. I felt Islam had more answers than I can ever figure out. Okay, and when you say more answers, what specifically had more answers? Not just in like a phrase or something you say, mm -hmm. but in a feeling and in something you you refer to. Mm -hmm. um, so when you say more answers, is it like after? I mean, did you? You, you re did you read booklets or was it the Quran? I mean, read? I read booklets and things like that. But I mean, for example, one of my favorite verses from the Quran is Al Baqarah two one fifteen, mm -hmm. which is where you stand in the east or in the west. There is the face of Allah. Oh. Now, in the in, when I was a Christian, one of the thing, one of my favorite verses from the Bible mm -hmm. was uh, Psalms twenty three one, which is uh, the Lord is your shepherd, and you shall not be in want. Mm. So basically, this idea like we're like you need nothing else but mm. Allah. Mm -hmm. God, Dios, whatever you want to call him, mm -hmm. uh, he, this is, this is, this love, his mercy, and in, and through the Quran, and through what I've learned in Hadith, um, you know, sayings from the Prophet, so so so, yeah. uh, and also like uh, through the Quran, and mm -hmm. through like people, like a conversation or sheikhs that I've met, mm -hmm. it's always been uh, much more feeling than just something implied, something that's just said. Mm -hmm. It's been an experience, basically. Beautiful. Okay. So, one, so I guess um, in brief, when I guess when was it that you decided, uh, or what was I guess the deciding factor that made you say that you want to become Muslim? <laughs> when I became a Muslim, when I took my shahada, mm -hmm. I was wearing shorts and I was wearing earrings. Um, I wasn't. I didn't know that this journey was going to be like. Like as it turned out, I never knew I was going to change to the man I am today, alhamdulillah. But I, all I can say is that I, I, at that time, it wasn't that I expected uh, greatness, but it was a great feeling. Beautiful. So I guess, okay, so it was something, I guess, internal and, yes. and something from the unseen, because we know in the Quran, God talks about, you know, those who believe in the unseen. So I guess, right. so the, it's the unseen virtues that was dear to you. And slowly after that, it became a, a matter of, it never became a matter of why, because when mm. people resort to religion, mm. they always ask why. It no longer became that, it became when. Beautiful. Thank you, Brother Yusuf, and inshallah, 
So, uh, yeah. Hopefully we will hear uh, more from you and uh, <laughs> hopefully from the community. And uh, thank <laughs> so, you, thank you for uh, you uh, know sharing like your story. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.